Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and uh, we encourage you to subscribe, like, do all that good stuff so we can make the world a better place in a simple and easy way. In any event, if you are new here, please uh, feel free to check out the 700 plus audios we have available on a variety of topics. Please feel free to connect with us uh, on social media at PO Perception. That's one way you can get in, in contact with me if you're looking for coaching, uh, either business or personal relationship, um, and we can connect on a deeper level in that way. Um, and so, uh, for this particular audio, we're talking about making your life yours. This can be super valuable because in a, uh, in a decent way, we begin to understand the value there is um, owning your life and so to own your life basically just means to accept that your decisions are, are yours you are 100 percent responsible for them you are also free to change your mind and change your focus as it uh, pertains to whatever makes sense to you this does not necessarily mean that you have to know everything at every given moment and alteration to what you focus upon is allowed and even accept acceptable and useful. Now, owning your life also means being responsible for the decisions you make as it relates to affecting other people. This can be extremely difficult because we want to rationalize uh, our behavior and give ourselves outs as it relates to how things affect other people when we don't want to deal with the negative effects we've had. But a completely a responsible person who owns their lives understands that there will be times where they make missteps and mistakes that lead them to be out of alignment for a moment with the person they'd like to be as long as they try to perform a course correction as quickly and efficiently as possible they've done the best they can and that is super valuable uh, in any event uh, another thing to consider is uh, per perhaps the value as it relates to connecting on a deeper level um, uh, in a meaningful way. The, ne the next thing to consider is um, kind of turning your pain into passion. So look, there are lives that you can, there are moments in life where you can feel overwhelmed. There are moments in life where you become extremely negatively affected and you become, um, you know, overwhelmed, frustrated, angry, hurt, confused, lost, and all these things. But when you come out of that emotional experience, it's a great time to dedicate yourself to something. Because those, those pain points also remind us how important it is to change things when they're not working. So when you come out of the negative is a great time to recommit to the idea of positivity as it relates to making a, a better commitment for yourself longer term. Um, the next thing to consider in this is the idea that you can live a life that's above average. And I know that, that there are some people who, an average life, whatever that is in your, in your geographic location, in your country, in your neighborhood, whatever the case may be, is perfectly fine. And that is okay if you understand that you will get to a place where satisfaction is going to be harder to obtain because average leads to feelings of listlessness and mediocrity eventually. Now, if you want to have what society in your, in your neck of the woods considers an average life, but always be improving to try to become exceptional at, at one thing, be it a talent, be it a skill, be it a profession, whatever have you, be it a hobby, that's good because at least you have one thing that you're always trying to improve upon, but the need for improvement and growth is necessary to live successfully. And so being completely average should be your enemy because it won't sustain you long term. The next thing is find a new passion. Obviously, there are things in life that we have never explored. When we commit to finding new passions, what we're really doing is creating new outlets for leftover energy, both positive and negative. So dealing with negative energy can be something as simple as finding a new cause to fight against or to to value in a different way. Finding a positive passion can, can be about creativity, but 
finding a new passion and pouring oneself into it is essential and valuable for any person at any stage of life. The last thing is give back. The more we give, the more we receive in the sense of we receive an emotional bump from the act of giving, but also we receive connection with others also through the same act of giving. So when we understand the value of giving, then we understand the value of living. Living and giving go hand in hand. When you're not giving, you're disconnecting from society and therefore in some level you're dying. Now, overgiving can become an issue, but that is the, the, the need for balance. Give as much as you receive, but not more. When we overgive as a habit, that's where burnout comes from. And it's super important to make sure we don't burn out so that we can continue to give effectively to those who appreciate and value our contributions to their lives. In any event, I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.